G'day and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival. I'm... oh, I'm up on my solar panels. Right. I think it's about time I got a quicker way to get down to the mines. And... On that, I'm also going to need a quicker way to get things back. So the first thing I want to do before I even build another vehicle, especially something that flies, is get a connector up on the roof. So let's grab a couple of those, a couple of those, a couple of those. What are we producing at the moment? More solar panels. I might switch that over in order to get a conveyor tube. And where's the connector in this list? There's the connector. And then since I was so ridiculously silly and didn't realize I could do that, let's do that and drag those panels till the end of the list. All right. I think the easiest place to put a connector would probably be... Actually, I can just put it straight on top. I don't need that extra tube. Excellent. Let's grab a connector. And I think if we just pop one right there, that's going to work reasonably well for the time being and give us a good accessible point to drop the tiniest most ridiculously ugly build I think I'm ever going to do. And I haven't even planned this thing. I just know, based on what I'm thinking I'm going to do with this thing, that it is going to be ugly. But that's okay. It'll be functional, I assume. I really hope it'll be functional. My plan is to build a remote controlled vessel with a seat on it that consists of a cargo container, a connector, the bare minimum number of thrusters I need, and then the rest of it's just going to be, well, it's just going to be the things I need so that I can fly down to the mines and fly back. And then if it's capable of that and if I can recharge it at any reasonable rate I also will add a single drill to the front of it so I'll be in an open faced drilling machine if safety were a concern like if I could get hit in the face by the rocks while mining that might be something to avoid <laughs> but I think we'll be okay it'll be entertaining nonetheless and the upshot of having an open vessel that I'm curious about, as I haven't actually tested this before. I think my suit lights might even work, and then I don't even need it to build a spotlight. So I can be even more efficient. Okay, that time I was actually close to running out of hydrogen. Let's fill up the bottle while we're here. Oh, that would explain a lot. I don't even have the bottle on me. Where is the bottle? I think I might have left it in the car. Probably trying to be... Oh, I've even got iron in here. Did I not... Oh, I didn't empty out the car. Jeez, that's a bit poor form. Well, at least I know if I run out of iron, I've got more. Have I run out of iron? No. Okay. Where's our assembler up to? Need a couple more motors, and then I think that connector's done. And after that's finished, I'm going to need a spot to build this new vessel. Alright. There we are. We have a connector on top, and we need a vessel. Which means we're going to need batteries. Two more power cells is all I need. Let's put them at the front of the queue. I'm going to need enough for six thrusters as well. No, five thrusters. One, two, three, four. I don't think that worked. Ah! Oh, you annoying thing. Oh well, we'll just leave that be for now. I need a 
I think I've got what I need. So, let's build this down on the grass because I think that's going to be... Oh, actually, we can use a temporary landing gear and build it on the roof. That'll probably make life easier. So this is going to be the most ridiculously ugly build I think I've ever done. Because I'm all about function here. All about function. I need... Medium cargo container. I need a battery. I need a gyroscope. I need atmospheric thrusters. I need a seat. And I need a remote control. And lastly, a connector. Alright. And to make it easy to build this how I want it, let's pop a couple of these on top. And then we're going to build out to the side. The reason I'm going to do this is I want to be able to get the connector on the bottom and not have a landing gear sticking out the bottom. Since I've built the base connector for a vertical connection. I think that might be high enough that we can get away with putting a battery like that. A cargo container like that. And if I fly sideways a connector on the bottom, like so. Then, well, we probably need six thrusters, actually, because we need one. Oh, I might want to build this first so I can see which side. I forgot which side has the small connectors on it. I think... I think it's those two. Yeah, it's going to be those two. We can see from the old model, which they're still using as the build model, those lines coming down. And if we look on this one, the two lines are on the side without the connection port. And I'm going to be so annoyed if I'm wrong on that. So I sounded so super confident. We can put one in that direction, one in that direction. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. Don't want to do it that way. What I want to do is put those on top. I think. Need our grinder. Try and make it at least. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I do want those on the sides, but maybe I want them like one that way. And then this side can go this way. What I just thought about was. If I decide to put everything on top above the battery, then my seat is going to be incredibly tall and this is definitely not going to be functional as a miner. So, what we need to do is get rid of that, get rid of that, and put the two of them this way. Once those two are on, now we just need sideways thrust, which we can put at the back of this battery. Like so, and like so. Then a gyroscope on now, so I don't forget it later. And finally, a remote control block. And I don't have the interior plate for it. Get a remote control block and pop that on the front and pop the seat on top of that. That should be everything, I think. Oh, what's the assembler up to? Move those down the queue again. Keeps flicking me back every time I try and move that queue. But at least I'm not deleting the whole bunch and annoying myself and everyone watching. <sighs> Pop that, facing the correct way. And now we should be able to put a seat right there. And then eventually, 
hopefully we'll be able to put a drill on the front somewhere like that then we'll have a very 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 basic mining machine and now it's time for me to weld this whole thing up getting everything oh why was i going downstairs i've got a connector here uh... what i don't know i think my atmospheric powered seat and cargo container doesn't look quite as horrible as i thought it might Yay, we have th two thrusters. We're getting there. We're getting there. So we need metal grids, motors. Oh, it's just metal grids and motors. And I'm almost done. Yes. Yes. I think... I think let's go the whole hog. Let's turn this into a ridiculous looking mining machine. We've actually got pretty much everything we need, so I'm going to take the chance. Conveyor. Small conveyor tube. I need to bring this around from the side. So. One there. 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 And I'll just build one side around. There. There, and there. And directly in front of my engineer. I need to still play. Hmm. Oh, right. Right, right, right. The, uh, the legs of that thing stick out a little bit further. There we go. Yes. Now it's ugly. Oh, yes. So beautifully ugly. Ha 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 ha! My most ridiculous contraption ever! Then I'm probably going to need a whole lot of extra lifting thrusters, but we'll see. We'll see how much we can hold in this thing before it collapses to the ground. But it's the start of a new world! No more mining by hand. Or at least until I completely run out of power, in which point... Yeah, I'll be back mining by hand. And running out of power is definitely a possibility here. Well, why am I... Hmm. Weird. Getting frame drops. Oh yeah. Now that is a reasonably minimalist mining machine. I probably should have rotated the container the other way around and then I would have only needed three conveyor tubes. But I wasn't really thinking ahead when I did it. I was just kind of building the quickest, littlest ship I could manage. Which may have been an error. Oh! I don't have enough. I think what I'm going to do as soon as this thing's finished is get it connected up to the base and steal some power from the base batteries. Oh. See, I do run out of hydrogen and forget to do it. That was silly. Alright, let's grab a tank full of hydrogen. And fill up my bottle. Got plenty of ice, so it's not a big issue. And finish this build. Come on. I suppose something I could attempt is to build a connector onto the rover and steal power from its batteries rather than the base batteries. Hmm. Before I do that though, what I might do 
is see if this thing can fly with just that one thruster. Because if it can, I might even be able to connect to the rover as it is. Ooh. I'm liking this idea. Steal power from the rover. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. I think I still need more motors. Let's find out. Yay! Yep, still need more motors. Need some for that too. Alright. Connect up to the rover, steal the rover's power, leave the base exactly as it is, then steal the detector from the rover as well, because we didn't put a detector on this, and since I put a drill on it, I probably should have a connector on it, a detector on it. I don't think the rover needs it anymore if we've got a mining ship. There we are. Nice. Let's go grab the detector off the roof of this. And... Detector... Let's pop it on the back here. Alright. Now we are cooking. I am going to attempt to connect this to the rover. And I am not going to save the game beforehand. I'm just going to take a chance. If it all goes badly, something I have to live with. Okay. Remote control. Control. Alright. Ship can hover. It's a good sign. This is going to be delicate because I don't have a downward thruster. Which means if I tilt too far, I'm going to lose control. Oh, oh! Yes! Yes! Battery recharge. Alright! How much power is left in that other one? Fully depleted in 13 minutes. Fully recharged in 11 minutes. Ooh! We really are stealing most of the power. I think that's okay, though. I can't believe I got that to work! That is amazing! What a way to steal power. Well, that's stealing power. Let's see if we've got any more solar panels finished. Or if we can get more solar panels finished. How many more cells do we need for that panel that we're working on? Ooh, ten more. And it's pretty high noon, so what's our power situation at? Really should get some sort of LCD up for this. Fifteen hours. That is good. It's very good. Let's dump the rest of this stuff because I don't need to be carrying it right now. How's our battery looking? Well, it still hasn't even charged up to 50%. Up in the cockpit, it's easier. We've got battery, which is recharging in nine minutes. Okay. Nine minutes and we can go mine! Properly. Nice. So very nice. Might need to... How much does... How many panel... How many cells do I need for a solar panel for a small vehicle? Sixteen. Wonder if I could put one on top of this rover. Since it's going to be like a year before I get a connector all the way down here that the vehicle can connect to. So it might be handy, just as a backup, to pop a solar panel onto it and allow it to slowly recharge itself. 
Because with me having a miner, I'm not going to use it very often. And it'll just be a nice little security blanket. Yeah, let's do it. Let's add that on. What do we need? Steel plate construction component slides tier 2. Plate construction components. Computer. And solar cells. But I want to finish the big one first. I'll just place it on there for now. I won't actually build it. If we put one... Maybe vertically, and if I park it in a way that it gets... It can be like a... Ridiculous solar sail. Oh, small ones need girders rather than large steel tubes. Interesting. Very interesting. Girders. Got the ten. Yes! Finished another panel. Finished another panel. And have really horrible frame drops right now. What is going on? Hmm. Let's finish that solar panel. Quickly figure out if something is using up all my resources. It might be inefficient to do this this way, but if I accidentally run out of power on this entirely because I've sapped its battery dry. That could be pretty devastating if I'm left without a vehicle at all. So I think it's important that I do give it some ability to recharge. And it's only 16. It's not, it's not going to be the end of the world if we're a little bit delayed in getting the next panel up. We will need to, mo to move that refinery and everything into the cave sooner rather than later. So while everything's going, I'm just going to do a bit of drilling. Clear out a bit of space so that we can get our base moved in here a bit sooner. I just had a thought about something that would be theoretically possible, but also a terrible idea. Particularly with my driving. Also, is that thruster doing stuff? Let's turn those off. This terrible idea that I had is this could theoretically drive down to the mine, saving the flying time and reducing our battery power. But I don't think in this setup that this is going to do anything but tip backwards onto itself. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to fly the whole way to the mine under the power of the miner itself. And it seems like a much safer idea, even if it is a lot less power efficient. If it turns out that I'm really struggling for power, what I will do is I'll move that connector up to the top of this and then it might be a functional mining carrier. And that's just a graphical effect. I have actually turned off those thrusters. So I'll finish emptying this thing out. Then we should be ready to go mining with a proper mining ship. Well, proper's a loose term. A mining ship. It is a ship, it can mine, so it's a mining ship. But, yes, if anyone argued whether it was proper or not, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably cave to that. Because <laughs> this thing has a few, more than a few downsides. That single block connecting up to the drill, that's uh, a bit dubious. I might, might put a little bit of styling on there. I just, that, that makes me, ugh. Makes me unhappy. What I will do, I think, is put a couple of armor blocks along the side just to give it a little bit of something. 
Just more weight, but oh, if I don't do it, it's going to drive me insane. What I will do, I'm going to put one of these there. One of these there. One of these there. And, like we did with the door, one of those there. And I'll just give it a little bit of something extra. Also make it look like I've got somewhere to put my feet, rather than just having them dangling in the breeze. Yeah, something. If I brought... Oh. Ah. Maybe I'll do that instead. Hang on. I have an idea. I'm going to move these somewhere a bit different. And we'll pop one of those full blocks in there. I said I wasn't going to worry about style on this thing, but come on. Is this ugly? You gotta. Six. We go with that. Ah, what am I doing? That. One there. One there. And I think that's even shorter. Oh, I... Ah. I need to finish that. Oh, I probably could have reached it from the top. <sighs> Getting too excited. Keep making... Silly errors. So excited that I might have a mining ship. Alright, now we can match this to the other side. Yay! I reckon that looks a little bit better. And also, that is a fully charged battery. Oh yeah. What should we mine first? Let's go get some silver. Yeah, let's go get some silver. Check how many solar panels we've got, solar cells we've got. We're still doing that. We've got enough solar cells to finish off. Yes, we do. Enough to finish the one on the rover. And what little power it'll get might contribute to recharging that battery. And... Chuck the rest of them up into this last panel on this side. Nice. And it's time to go mining. I'm going to make a thruster group. I'm going to put them on my hotbar. Oh, uh, what? Don't jump out of the seat, you twit. What am I doing? Control. Now I want those thrust that thruster group um wait what? Toggle on and off. Toggle them on. Let's unpark. Oh what is going on? Oh, I know what's going on. Heh <laughs> Take that off recharge. Yeah! We have a grand total of one hour of hover time. Flight time, substantially less. Where's our silver mine? Silver is up this way. Let's take the shortcut. Oh, this is amazing. This is so amazing. Functional flying vessel, capable of mining, with a detector on it. I should probably put that on the hotbar as well. We can see all the way down to the... Ah, oh, see all the way down to the ice. Look at that. Look at that view. 
And look at that beast of a machine. Oh, stunning. Let's get our detector on the hotbar so we don't have it on and consuming power when we don't need it. We will need it to get down to this silver. Well, probably put the drills on the hotbar too. That'd be useful. And we're using my headlights, not ship headlights. Save on power. Okay, I see silver. I see iron. Okay, silver's about 25 meters down from here. Let's start drilling. I'm using right click drills to clear out as much dirt as I can, so I've got a nice easy way out and you know I really don't want to be carrying stone back this thing's gonna struggle enough as it is and there's our silver yeah I don't know how much weight this is going to be able to actually move around in a reasonable fashion but I think we'll probably test it at 15,000 kilograms, that might be as far as I'm willing to dare to go. Okay, I'm level, but it doesn't want to go... Oh, I might be... Am I too heavy already? I can't be too heavy already, can I? That's not good. Oh, I think I'm too heavy already. Bugger. Oh, need more thrust. Let's ditch the stone and see if I can take off then. I think I need a lot more thrusters to make this thing genuinely useful. Uh, let's take control. Not hit escape. That's not what I wanted. Ah, good, I can take off. Okay, 11,000 is doable. Let's fly home. Turn off our detector. Oh, crunch. Oh, yes. Yes. This is amazing. Oh, how I've missed this. Oh, walking around in some dark hole, trying to do my mining that way. That is a thing of the past. Now, I sit around going in a dark hole mining while the ship does the work for me. Come in to land and hopefully won't destroy the ship and our, oh. Ooh, that took a long time to slow down. That's, that's, that's worrying. And as we come into land, I think that's about where we'll end it for today's video. This has been a day of progress. A day of stealing power from the rover. And a day of me actually managing to park this thing without destroying anything at all. I feel like this mining ship is a thing of hidden beauty. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. As always, there's plenty more to come, so I'll see you then. <laughs>